What's up guys, so when it comes to custom trucks in Mario Kart Wii, literally everyone knows about CGP. And that's actually not a bad thing at all. CGP is an incredible mod pack and no matter how many people like to trash talk about it, the track quality in CGP is absolutely insane. There is a ton of bangers such as New Moon Manor, Banished Keep, Sahara Hideout, Glimmer Express Trains, Mushroom P- Oh no, not that one. But you get the idea, the standards in CGP are very high. But not every amazing track is actually in CTGP. There are still a ton of incredible bangers out there that have not been added to the pack yet. And no, I'm not talking about the tracks that have already been accepted, since most of them will be added in the near future. No, I'm talking about the tracks that have truly not been added to CGP and have also not been accepted. And in this video, I'm playing 8 of my absolute favorite custom tracks outside of CTGP. And we're gonna start right away with the beautiful Elemental Solstice. So this right here is Elemental Solstice and this has been created by a ton of different creators so I won't even try to name them all, uh, I'm sorry. For the other tracks I will name the creators, don't worry about it, but for this track I think it was like 7 different creators so yeah it's not really possible. But Elemental Solstice is in my opinion the best track that has ever been created in any sort of CT competition. This track is simply insane, like look at these walls. They look so cool, like these textures are like moving. I don't even know how that's possible, but it looks insane. And this entire track has a ton of different pathways by the way, um, since it's from a CT Jelly, and this specific CT Jelly had the requirement... Where am I by the way? Um, wait, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Am I stuck right now? Wait... Um... I don't think I'm stuck, but this is kind of stupid. Well, anyways, <laughs> that's funny. Um, but anyways, uh, the objective of that CT Jelly was to give the track, you know, the same number of pathways as the number of creators, you know? And since this track was created by so many people, it obviously has a shit ton of pathways. And I did get stuck back there, which kind of sucked, but otherwise, this track is truly just absolutely beautiful. And extremely fun to drive as well, for sure. Um, there are some sections where I'd say that the off-road is a bit hard to see. But I personally don't really find it to be that annoying. Because, like, I think uh, it's more important um, to, you know, view the positive aspect of the track. And this track certainly has a ton of these... Oh my god, did I really just drive there again? I need to stop that. Uh, are you supposed to do this? Is that like a shortcut? I'm guessing it's some sort of shortcut probably. It's very strange, but this track nonetheless is very much amazing, obviously. As I've said multiple different times already. Uh, I definitely gotta take all split pathways, but it's kind of difficult since there's just so many and it's easy to get lost. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited to play all these tracks today. All of them are just absolute bangers. Guess we'll just go here, take that ramp up there, and let's this time not fall into that weird snow pit. Got a half pipe right here, which looks very nice. This entire track looks just insane visually. This is easily one of the most visually appealing tracks ever. That can be said about every single track that we're playing today, by the way. And yeah, we're approaching the end. That is Elemental Solstice, an absolutely insane track. Huge props to everyone that created this track. As I said, I can't name them all since it's just so many people. Uh, but anyways, now we're moving on to Lunar Lantern Festival. So, this right here is Lunar Lantern Festival. And it has been created by Squire Turnbolt, who is just an absolutely insane creator. His track quality ever since Stump on Forest has been definitely top notch. And this track is certainly no exception. This is definitely one of my favorites by him. The visuals here are just mind-blowing. Like, look at this. Everything has this, like, pink-purplish glow, I guess. And what the hell is that, by the way? Is that supposed to be Gobblegut but, but a Wiggler? That's so strange. And this right here, I think, is Gobblegut as well, so... I guess we're having a lot of references of him. Um, and this right here is obviously very much uh, based on Dragon Driftway from Mario Kart 8. Which is always nice to see. And look at these drums, they look so cool. This track visually is just insanely appealing. Just like every track that we're playing today. I'd say this is probably the best one that we're playing today visually. 
And by the way, the part we're at right now is actually upside down. Well, not really, but it looks like it is, you know? Which is pretty cool. And yeah, we're driving across this massive dragon right here. Uh, I gotta say, driving-wise, this track might not be that extreme. There's definitely, like, most sections feel pretty simplistic. But simply the entire atmosphere of this track is what makes it so insanely amazing, you know? And also, not every track has to be Sahara Hideout. This track is two laps, by the way, which is always great with tracks of this length. So, uh, respect to Square Tombow for actually acknowledging that. I feel like there are way too many CT creators that make tracks that are like uh, three and a half minutes or even four minutes long, but still make them three laps. I'm just saying Sunset Rich. <laughs> I'm really surprised that the new remake by ZPL that recently got added to CTGP is still uh, three laps. The track is so long. And yeah, on lap two, all these pathways right here open up, so you could take some different pathways here. I guess here, for example, we have item boxes on the first pathway and boost panels on the other pathway. Just like at the start of Thumb Bump Forest, I think it's a pretty good, uh, pretty cool idea. You know, deciding between item boxes and boost panels. It's pretty cool. And yeah, that concludes Lunar Lantern Festival. Absolutely incredible track. Definitely CTGP worthy. And yeah, now I'm moving on to a track where I'm very surprised that it hasn't been added to CTGP yet. And it's GBA Cheeseland. This right here is ZPL's version of Cheeseland. And as I said, I'm very surprised that this one isn't in CTGP yet. Because obviously it's a million times better than the current CTGP version. And I also actually say that it's actually also better than any other version of Cheeseland, including the Mario Kart 8 version. Because this one has removed the annoying cheese holes, and it's also added some aspects from the Mario Kart Super Circuit version, such as the mice, which is really cool. Thinking about it, Nintendo should have definitely added the mice in the Mario Kart 8 version. I'm really surprised I didn't, since they're such an iconic part of the original track. But yeah, uh, this remake is very fun to drive, looks absolutely stunning visually, just like with literally every single ZPL track. By this point, I'm not even surprised anymore. ZPL is just such an absolutely insane creator, arguably the best custom track creator ever, and that can clearly be seen with this Cheeseland remake. There's just everything about this is just so insanely perfect. There's just zero flaws about this one, to be honest. There's absolutely nothing I can complain about. This is super fun to drive, looks amazing visually as I've already said a million times. So yeah, I definitely love to see this one in CTGP. I really hope that the track council decides to change its mind. I'm hoping that for most tracks here, definitely. There is some tracks that have understandable reasons why they're not added to CTGP. Uh, but I really don't see any understandable reasons with this one. So. I'm definitely just hoping that the CGP track council decides to change its mind because this is just so much better than the um, you know than the old version that's currently in CGP. The current version is fine, I guess. It also has no flaws, but it's based on the Super Circuit version, which is much worse than this one. The Super Circuit version is quite boring, to be honest. Like even compared to other Super Circuit tracks, I honestly think that Cheeseland, like the Super Circuit version of it, is very overrated. I feel like many people just call it one of the best Super Circuit tracks because the Mario Kart 8 version is so good, but yeah, um, that concludes GBA Cheeseland by ZPL, absolutely incredible remake, definitely hoping for this one to be added to CGP at some point, and now we're moving on to VK Bay. So this right here is VK Bay, another Squire Tomball track, and also by the way, uh, a track with a great name. Dude, I love Square Tomball's track names. They're always so dumb, and that's what makes them great, you know? Bowser's Termination Station, Shy Guy Skies, Thump Bum Forest. These names are just all great, and Lunar Lantern Festival, of course. The track that we've just played. But yeah, this right here is VK Bay. Uh, it's a two-lap track once again. Uh, I absolutely love two-lap tracks, by the way. Uh, many of my favorite tracks in CTGP are actually two-lap tracks, such as Glimmer Express Train, Sahara Hideout, or... Um, of course, Sky High Island. Since I feel like two-lap tracks just often tend to have really amazing track designs. And that's certainly the case with this one right here as well. I mean, just look at this. We're driving across some sort of roller coaster. Like, what even is this? 
kind of reminds me of Water Park. But my favorite part about this track is definitely the section that we're approaching in a second. This other water section right here. And not necessarily this part, by the way, this is super weird uh, that you can just go inside of these things. I don't know if that's intentional or not. But this underwater section just looks absolutely incredible. Right now you can't really see it very well since we're still driving on these weird tracks. But we're gonna get to some uh, more underwater section, like right here, for example. It pretty much just looks like, um, you know, the Seaside Kingdom in Super Mario Odyssey, which I absolutely love. That's just amazing. And right here, this is like Dolphin Shoals. That, that's also just great. And I don't know how these like water things work. But they work. <laughs> I don't know how they work, but they do. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, this entire track is just absolutely incredible. Just like every single track by Squire Turnbolt. I really hope that um, more Squire Turnbolt tracks are added to CTP. I'm happy that Thump Thump Forest and DS Cheap Cheap Beach are there. And I'm also happy that... Bowser's Termination Station has been accepted. But come on, we definitely need some more tracks. Also, I think Midnight Museum has actually been accepted recently, so that's great, since that one's also one of my favorites by Square Turnbulls. This one would have actually been included in this video, but you know, it just got accepted recently, so yeah, <laughs> we're not doing that. And yeah, the only nit nitpick I have about this track is this weird thing in the middle right here. I don't know why it's like this, I'm guessing it's probably unintentional. I can't imagine that being intentional, but it doesn't matter that much because like the only section where I can actually block your side a little bit is like completely straight, so as long as you're not turning, you're good to go. And it definitely doesn't prevent this track from just being absolutely amazing. Let's go a different pathway this time. We sadly can't even nearly go up all pathways here since there's just so many of them, you know, so it's absolutely impossible. And yeah, we're slowly approaching the end. This track is actually quite long despite being two laps, but I feel like the length isn't that bad. It's not way too long, and also I've just not been driving that fast, you know, I've just fallen off, so... Yeah, it's probably quite a bit shorter. Okay, I'm getting blue as well. Dude, the CPUs are so far behind, by the way, it's funny. Uh, well, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really say this track feels way too long, since... It just really has a very interesting and great track design, you know? And I feel like if that's the case, you know, it's also, for example, the case in Glomar Express Trains. In those cases, I feel like a track can be longer, you know? And yeah, that concludes Vacay Bay. Just an absolutely incredible track. Maybe it's a bit jank and maybe that one texture in that weird railway section is a bit weird. But otherwise, this track is just absolutely incredible. And I'm definitely hoping to see this one in CTP, although it's likely not gonna happen. But I guess only time will tell. And next up, we got Distant Dimension. Alright, so here we got Distant Dimension, and it's another track by the absolute custom track creating GOAT that's named ZPL. And yeah, this track is just beautiful visually. It looks absolutely insane. Just like all ZPL tracks, literally. Like, ZPL's visuals are the best out of any custom track creator. Like, for sure. They're always really detailed and just always very polished. That can be said about literally every single modern ZPL track. And gameplay-wise, obviously, it's also very much polished. And I just absolutely love it. I think this is kind of like a better version of Magmatic Sanctuary, to be honest. I find it to be a bit more interesting, like, track design-wise, and also visually, since there's some different textures, you know? I feel like Magmatic Sanctuary is kind of monotone, you know? In the sense of that it doesn't really change up the visuals too much. But this track has that fix, I'd say. So it's basically like a purple magmatic sanctuary with a more interesting track design and more interesting visuals. So absolutely beautiful track, definitely. Don't see any flaws here, so I definitely hope, um, you know, for this track to be added to CGP. Though it's likely not gonna happen since, you know, it's been quite some time since this track has been rejected. But as always, we'll see, I guess. Sometimes the track council does end up changing its mind, as I've already said with Midnight Museum. I don't think there was any updates to that track, and yet it's been accepted, which is really nice to see, so I guess only time will tell. And by the way, this right here, this beautiful track, just makes me mad that there's been that one Twitter post by some guy saying that ZPL is ruining CTGP. Like, how is that even, like, how can anyone write that? To be honest. Like, okay, I get when you don't like, you know, certain track creating styles. 
But first off, you really don't need to be a dick about it and say that it's ruining an entire mod pack. And second off, I also absolutely disagree. ZPL is one of my absolute favorite creators, especially his retro tracks are just absolutely insane. For most tracks that he's created a retro track of, it's definitely by far the best version of the track, for sure. And my favorite custom created retro track uh, is actually by ZPL. It's DK Jungle. So yeah, just an absolutely incredible track. I can't understand this post. That concludes Distant Dimension, and yeah, we're now moving on to GBA Sunset Wilds. So this right here is Sunset Wilds by Flint, and I feel like this is an absolute prime example of a track not being added to CTDP, because everyone is used to the old version, you know? At least that's what I feel like. There's probably some more reasons why this one wasn't added, there might be some bugs or something, but generally speaking, I would say that this version is a million times better than the old version in literally every single aspect. The visuals are absolutely stunning. I'm very happy that all these annoying dino steps got removed. Because they're quite annoying to be honest and very inconsistent. Like maybe that could be added but just make more consistent, but I don't think it's necessary. And this remake also kept the shortcut at the end. Um, you know, there has been a lot- Oh, there is actually foot footstep, I didn't even realize. Uh, I'm stupid. Well, anyways, um, there is a common theme of new versions of tracks removing shortcuts. Which I don't really like, but this version has kept the shortcut at the end, which is just amazing, you know? So, yeah, I love this remake in every single aspect. And we're having some weather changes now, which is obviously the main theme of Sunset Wilds. I'd probably say that the daytime version maybe is a bit too bright because, I don't know, I can't really imagine Sunset Wilds being daytime, but that's a very minor thing and also just a visual thing in general, which basically means that it doesn't matter. <laughs> but man, this lap 2 right here looks insane. I love this. This is the most beautiful sunset that I've ever seen in Mario Kart Wii, for sure. This nighttime version also looks really nice, by the way. Very much like the visuals here. And yeah, that about concludes Sunset Wilds. We're slowly taking the last ramp. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're jumping over the last ramp. And yeah, that concludes Sunset Wild. And now moving on to a track that I think everyone here expected, which is, of course, Frantic Fun Yard. By the way, if you're wondering why this says race 1 out of 8, it's because I'm an idiot and I actually impressed on Peach Garden. So. Yeah, <laughs> but anyways, this right here is Frantic Fun Yard, and this was created by the absolutely legendary Sneaky. And honestly, I'd be really pissed if there's anyone out there that doesn't know who Sneaky is, because Sneaky's tracks are just something else. And also, by the way, uh, there's the baby, <laughs> because I still have a couple of custom characters. There's also Donald Trump, okay. <laughs> That's funny. And Thick Yoshi. Dude, we have so many custom characters right here. What are the chances? There's literally only 8 character vehicle combinations, but we have at least 3 custom characters here. Well, anyways, Sneaky is just absolutely insane. There is so many just crazy tracks by Sneaky out, out there in CTDP, including my absolutely favorite custom track and also race track of all time, which is of course Glimmer Express Trains. Just absolutely insane, and this track is no different, like, this track is just crazy. And also I just fall off. Yeah, this track right here, I'm just insanely disappointed that, so, that this one was rejected because this is not only one of Sneaky's best creations, but also one of the best tracks that have been made ever, <laughs> literally. Yeah, this track is just absolutely crazy, literally everything about it, the visuals are stunning, there's so many objects literally every everywhere, it's so hard to even like get the grasp of everything here because of how much there is. And this track, by the way, even has like an LE code thing, which means that it basically changes a little bit everything, uh, you know, every time you play, which is really cool. We sadly can't see that right now since we're playing this on CTDP, which I'm pretty sure doesn't support LE code. Okay, I'm just getting screwed right now. Well, anyways, look at these apples right here. There's so many different custom objects. I absolutely love that. Yeah, just an absolutely insane track. Definitely holds up to sneaky standards for sure. And yeah, for this one, I can just hope that it gets added to CGP, you know, that the track council changes its mind, just like I've said with many other tracks here in this video. And look at these half pipes, they look really interesting, they're like black. I don't know why. 
in general, really interesting boost animations. And then of course we got all these RC cars driving around. Man, there is so insanely much to this track. You can also go down here by the way, it's kind of hidden. And yeah, we're approaching the end, that concludes Frantic Fun Yard. Just an absolutely insane track, one of the best CTs ever, probably the best one in this video. And now we're moving on to the last track of the video, which is The Plane of Atlantis. Alright, this is The Plane of Atlantis, which has been created by Jiu. And man, this just looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, this track, by the way, actually has an understandable reason why it's not been added, because I think there's like some sort of item disappearance bug, because of how large the track is, so... I can definitely understand why this one hasn't been added, and I think Jiu unfortunately retired from making custom tracks, so I don't know if there's gonna be updates. I really hope there is, because I really would love to see this track in CTGP, but obviously I don't want to pressure anyone here. You know, you really shouldn't pressure CT creators, since what they're doing is just very difficult. So yeah, but I would still absolutely love to see this in CTGP, I'm just saying, you know, because this is just beautiful. This is a one lap track, by the way. And I'd say that this is probably the best one lap track ever made. Like, just look at this. We're just driving around in some sort of temple, I guess. You know, this is supposed to be Atlantis. I don't know what... I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Well, anyways, we're now going underwater to this weird, like, underwater city thing, I guess. Which just also looks really beautiful. Jiu, again, just a, another creator with just an incredible visual style. I think you all know Garden of Dreams. That track just looks insane. Okay, that off-road there is a bit hard to see though, <laughs> that's a bit weird, but that's just a very small thing to be honest. This track as a whole is just absolutely crazy, just like literally every track that we've played today. I'm really sad to see that this track has this item disappearance bug, because this is probably my favorite track by Jiu, so yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, but that's just how it is, you know. Not every amazing track can be added, as we've seen with these 8 absolutely amazing tracks today. For all of these tracks, we can basically just hope, you know? And yeah, we're slowly approaching the end. We're about to take this massive cannon that's shooting us up again. And look at this. This is such a beautiful view. We're just rushing towards that massive waterfall. It's just insane, man. I love the theme here. Geo's tracks always have some of the best themes, I'd say. And yeah. Now we have this beach section right here with these cataquacks. I hate qu cataquacks, by the way, so... Um, thanks for that. <laughs> it doesn't matter though, this truck is just way too beautiful and a bunch of cataquacks can't change that. Even though I'm getting comboed right now. Uh, I should better run. <laughs> and yeah, we're ending this track with these water fountains right here which also just look very very nice. And yeah, we're getting blued on the line. I'd be really pissed if we get second right now, so yeah, let's hope we can still pass this burrow. I don't think we can, so... Yeah, that's a bit frustrating, um, yeah. Thank you for that blue shell, I guess. But yeah, that concludes this video. A massive shout out goes to every CT creator that has worked on these beautiful tracks. They are all absolutely top notch. And I'm definitely hoping for every single one of these tracks that they either get the bug fixes they need or that they start to get out to CTGP the way they currently are, you know, because I feel like with some of these tracks, they could definitely be added right away. So, uh, that is basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Feel free to like and subscribe and join that Discord server. And I will see you guys in the next video and as always enjoy Wario on drugs.